Hi, I'm Gary, and I just got here. I uh, waited a couple minutes because it was still raining, but it's finally let up. And I got the FT Scout that the RC Sailors gave me to fly today. I spent quite a bit of time reconstructing this thing. I don't know if you guys seen it, but you should go back and find it. There's a video where I run this thing straight into a lamp post, and it just, man, it just hits hard. And just tears up the whole front end. Now we got the same motor on here. And ESC and all the electronics are the same. This airplane has been ripped in half two other times. And the tail has been messed up. And it's been through a lot. But I got her all put back together. I did do a test flight. Got some stuff trimmed out. It's ready to go. And I got the lipo alarm in there. So I'll know when to, to end this flight. If you guys like my videos make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell give me a thumbs up and leave some great comments let's get some flying done so like i was saying it was just raining so everything's wet here all right i put the so while i was doing some work on it I put the wheels from my P-51 Mustang, that the push-in ones, I put those in there to uh, make the landings easy. And I left those cool uh, wheel pants on there. Thought that looked good. This airplane's pretty, pretty gentle. And uh, it is climbing a little bit. I did have to do a bunch of trim to down. I think it has to do with the way I fixed the tail on this. I uh, put them barbecue skewers and a rudder to stiffen up the, it was actually to stiffen the elevator, not the rudder. And uh, I might have pulled them up just a little bit when I glued them. And so it might be, it might be causing the up force. When I slow it down like this, it's just kind of gentle around in the corners. So, she's handling pretty good if I can keep it off of stuff. I am kind of low. There's just a light breeze from the rain that's been going through. But she's flying pretty good. Um... This thing's not super aerobatic, and uh, before I put all the glue that's in this thing, I mean, there's a lot of glue in it. I could do quite a bit of stuff with it, but right now, man, it's, and I I put an 8.6 prop on there. I'm not sure what flight test says to put on this thing, but it's not exactly screaming. There's full speed right there. So let's bring her around at full speed. You get a little bit of speed in the down slope there. They get a roll off. Lost a little bit of altitude though. Now when I first got this, I could I think I was able to fly it inverted. But uh, do, trying to do that is exactly how I ripped it in half one of the times. So I don't think it's in its, it's not in its future anymore to, to do a lot of inverted flying. It can still do some rolls. That was about a foot from my face, by the way. <laughs> that was a little close. I got the the rates on the ailerons are on full rates. I can I can, there I got it on low rates now and it should be a lot more graceful in the changing of directions here. So I got to make sure not to get it too far sideways. It'll make it hard to correct cuz it is changing direction slowly now. Now my radio is telling me the five minutes are up, but I do have the lipo alarm in there. I 
I did a little work on the wing. I did some work on the tail. And of course, everything back to the wing on the nose had to be rebuilt because when I hit that lamppost, they just completely demolished all that. So basically, everything in the front end is all new. And uh, just the skin that Dan put on, or where he painted it, has been glued back into place over top of what I built. But she still flies pretty decent for all the glue and work that I put into it. And this thing used to fly incredible back when we first got it from Dan. I got to fly it um, before it was ever crashed at a, uh, when he first gave it to Nate. And then uh, the story is that one of Nate and Abby's family members crashed it and uh and of course i've slammed it into the ground i've slammed it into a lamp post i've i've hit a little bit of everything with this so you can see it's flying pretty good looks like we got another storm rolling in soon as long as i don't see lightning i'll keep going until the lipo alarm goes off i think my landing's going to be something about that angle right there and it looks like I got a pretty decent path to line it up. Now, I, I really had a good time when I went to get this from Nate. Always a, an excuse to go fly with them is always a good, good excuse, right? Especially when they're giving me this airplane. And uh, it's another reason why I wanted to put it back together. I'm hoping to take it back and fly with them again sometime. It is pretty slow now, but it's it's still flying really good. I mean, I'll show you no hands here in a second. Right about there, no hands. And I think the wind was causing it to, to roll. Check it again here, get the angle that I said I was gonna get. Well, got it too close to me. Let's try it downwind, maybe. Right here, downwind, no hands. A little bit of climb, like I said, and maybe a little bit of a roll to the left. The rudder servo is just glued to the side of the internal side of the fuselage and the glue had broke loose and so I had to get it glued back in place and it might be part of the reason that it's rolling one way or another I might not have got it completely straight I do apologize for camera angle yesterday I guess I was a little bit had the angle just a little low and so some of the time I was coming out of the top of the shot unfortunately I can't see uh, I can't see what I'm shooting when I'm flying so if you guys don't see anything I do apologize there was times when I first started flying and I was using a tripod and I was just trying to fly in front of the camera uh, there was times when I almost was never in the shot I was talking you could hear me talking about the flight but you couldn't see me actually flying especially uh, I would have to fly try to fly super tight and real close and I would I do a lot of this where I would try to stall it and go real slow and because I knew I'd be in front of the camera some what I would do when I set it up on the tripod to try and do that is I'd set it up and I'd be like, okay, there's a tree there and a tree right there. And then I would try to fly between those trees and uh, kind of like this and do little circles and that kind of stuff. And But a lot of times I'd get above the camera because there was no way for me to figure out how high I could fly and stay in the angle. And so I might get it turned around in time, but I would be too high and you guys wouldn't see any of the 
especially when you're doing tricks because you always you always gain altitude when you're gonna roll and and then uh, you'd finish the trick in the frame but you would miss and, or I would do a lot of flights like this direction and then back at me to try and figure something out I am toying with that rock pile there I keep getting down low when I'm flying over that and I'm not trying to because this thing's flying pretty good I like to keep it for uh, when the weather gets bad because I don't want to bring out the mamba when there's snow and rain and that kind of stuff and that was part of the intent of this plane was to be able to fly it when uh, the weather wasn't great or conditions weren't great for flying nice airplanes. I'm pretty surprised that LiPo alarm hasn't gone off yet. I'm sure we're 10 minutes into this flight and I am flying full speed. Maybe the 8.6 prop uh, isn't a lot of uh, a lot of work for this motor and so it's not pulling a lot of current. It's pretty awesome to get this long of a flight. I'm going to keep it going for the full flight. If I hope you guys are enjoying the flight even though uh, let me put it back on high rates and I can do more rolls. There we go. It's just it's getting a little bit it's a little bit slow for Woo. I'm giving it uh, down rudder or down elevator when doing those to try and keep it from dropping too much when I do the when I'm inverted. There, that was a pretty good one. A lot of up when I started out. Fortunately, let me, let me see how if I can keep it climbing here a little bit. I'd like to try a loop. Get some speed up there. Maybe I can get a loop. Let's get it turned back around into the wind before I do it. It's up there pretty high right now. And I, do, I don't want to do anything too aggressive here with the... Because the battery's just being held on with Velcro. Woo! That was a lot of altitude loss on that loop. see them wheels on there the nice thing about having them mounted in the wing like that is it's really low profile and so when I land there's not much chance of it tipping over so I like that super low center of gravity there nice thing about these slow flying planes like this is uh, it's not too scary to fly low, especially right across in front of you. You can see about two feet off the ground. Almost could have rolled the wheels there and then just kept going. I'm impressed on how long this battery's lasting. Oh, there's a lipo alarm now. So let's get it turned around for the landing. I cut her back to quarter throttle now. Look at that. Of course, there's no tail wheel, so I can't steer this back around to me. But that was a beautiful landing. And uh, I'd like to thank Dan and the RC sailors for that airplane. It has been a, a hoot to fly, and uh, like I said earlier, if you guys like my videos, please, please, please subscribe.
and hit the notification bell. That way you guys will see it when I'm flying live like this. Hate for you guys to miss one flight. And if you guys don't mind, give me a thumbs up and leave some great comments. And if you're watching live now, hi. And I hope everybody got on there last night and was watching Nate and Abby build a, starting to build a crawler. That was a blast. The chat, I was just, I was burning up the chat, typing all kinds of stuff. And if you guys want to talk to me, it's definitely okay with me. But, you know, you always have Nate and Abby that can answer questions too when they're on that forum. Make sure you go over to the sailors, not the RC sailors. And I think they're going to do it every Saturday night. So, anyways, if you guys like my channel, make sure you subscribe here. And as always, I'm Gary, and I just got here. Whoop. Bye.